supposed to be on the show, but he's still sleeping, I, I hear. I don't know. Yeah. But welcome back to What the Duck, episode number 37, Slash. Does that Jesus sound right? fucking Christ. I That's need the a dummy lot of check What the Ducks. That. Holy shit. 37. Sounds about right. I feel like I've wasted 37 of my days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> shit show. You've been on most of them. It's true. We're doing a special episode today. The three is back because we did a three, a three, uh, threesome Yumi purge, right? We on, did on two. What the ducks ago or three? I think you did. Look, yeah. remember, look right here, episode thirty-five. That oh, was Yumi and Purge. My God, that's and dude, two months. The ago. feedback on that thing was phenomenal. <laughs> you should read those YouTube comments, dude. They're they're kind. They're pleasant. Like, this might be the best What the Duck I've ever seen. Purge makes me hard. Mm. You got a really? lot to live up to here, Trent. All right? Dota 2 is... probably shouldn't keep chasing chickens right now. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. What? You need my, my full attention. Get off Sea of Thieves, dude. <laughs> Quit your fucking grind quests. Yeah. And pay attention, pal. All right. So uh, we are doing a PUBG event right after this. Uh, worth mentioning, Mott's going to be coming down to join uh, Pretzel Boy here. Hot off of the uh, PGL PUBG event that he uh, just came back from in Romania. So we've got a real PUBG star in the house, and I'm super excited to be casting wow. another beat event today uh, with the good guys, the old Canada Cup guys. So uh, I don't know how I keep getting roped into this PUBG shit. I don't coming up in about an hour. <laughs> yeah. Get me out of here. Get me out of the PUBG shit. Oh, God. Uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. I have to say, though, uh, as much as it did hurt me to not go to Dream League, God, did I need to not go to Dream League. I needed to do something that wasn't Dota for once. I mean, uh, in my position, a mm -hmm. creativity position, where you have to think of new things and be inspired. I mean, I had mm -hmm. only been working in Dota for inspired. four years. It's hard to get inspired and mm -hmm. think of new content when you're with the same people doing the same stuff. So <sighs> I feel refreshed. I feel relaxed. I got a lot new ideas after seeing uh, other esports. A lot <laughs> new ideas. <laughs> a lot yeah. new ideas. <laughs> That's feeling great. Good, feeling good. Okay. I like the your real estate bits. They cracked me up, and the taxi uh, ones too. Oh, thank you, my friend. Very thank good. you. We did steal what the horse from Sunspan because I kind of ran out of ideas. Well, did see that. So yep, yeah, I, I stole laughed. what the horse PUBG. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sunspan, my boy. It had to be done. Yeah, but uh, did you guys watch Dream League? We haven't had one since then. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh dude, it's been a long time since Dream League. But Has it? Um, it's been yeah, like a we week. We like two tournaments past Dream League. Yeah, Trent's no, actually right. It, it's there. We're in that gauntlet of extreme Dota. It's been pretty hard to keep up with. I watched a little bit of Dream League just to kind of you know listen to a few panels, feel yeah. the set. I didn't really digest much of the games. I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, be... Sorry, we're one qualifier past and one land. God, so, damn. you know how it is. DAC, DAC is basically two tournaments anyway. You got that whole group stage, which was massive, and then they had to play tiebreakers, and now they're into the playoff series, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are. Uh, yeah, you know, Trent, right I have now. to admit that yep. was one where I didn't even look at Twitter to see the discussion about formats. I'm like, I know how this one goes: group stage, round robin. It's it's kind of shit. You have bad tiebreak scenarios, and that's what happened with DAC. Did you miss that one, Slash? Oh, right, right, the right. The super long tiebreakers. Right, they, they had it's like, like 10 a five-way tie or, or some shit. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah boy tiebreakers <laughs> every person's worst nightmare working at an event the teams the talent the production please god don't let there be tiebreakers is pretty much what everybody says <laughs> so yeah it's two eight team groups where they all play each other yep and there was a really nasty uh, tie break scenario that came true that is hysterical Mm -hmm. Is that tournament still happening? Oh yeah, yeah. Main events going on right now, hey, big guy. It's just—it's basically just starting. Honestly, how many days does it have left now? One, two, three, three? four days. Something like that. You can look at the bracket right here. Slack still uh, upper bracket semifinals: LGD versus Team Liquid, Mineski versus Vici. Then lower bracket round one, I guess it is. Uh, EG and VP, and then Optic TNC. So there's Whoa. only uh, eight teams remaining in the tournament. I don't know about Ooh. you, Trent. I know this is the opposite of you, but in my my personal saying is no time zone, no tournament, all right? If it ain't my time zone, it don't fucking exist to me. I ain't going to stay up all night watching this shit. I know you're a Dota fiend, though, Trent, right? It's true. So yeah. you watch everything, but uh, secret. I do my best. Zero two secret out. Sweet yeah. Jesus. What happened? No, v, v Chi beat him. What did happen? I'll be honest, I didn't watch uh, many of the secret games because oh, they were they weren't many because they lost. It's yeah, okay first though because it's uh, yeah. they they have a healthy environment still, so it's okay. Everything's That's fine. true. I like that post. That was nice to see though. That was nice. You know? a lot of people are questioning. Uh, I think uh, LGD has been one of the more impressive tournaments to watch. Pretty enjoyable. I don't know if you guys have been uh, checking them out, but uh, they're no. doing like. Like, what's cool right now in Dota is you want a unique identity, right? Is that That's a fidget what makes spinner? Interesting. Get a, get a life, Trent. 
What? Can, uh, <laughs> the captain's draft finished. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> look at him, dude. Him. Wow. <laughs> 59.99. Wow, look at you. Look at yeah, you. That's exclusive. All right, so your right. your point, please. I apologize. <coughs> anyway, so what's interesting to watch about teams is uh, when they have a unique identity. So Newbie were actually cool to watch when they were doing Naga Disruptor and no one else was doing it and then everyone kept giving it to them and they kept destroying everyone. You're like, "Damn. That's pretty good." Uh, and then when we moved uh, onto like some of these other teams, you know, you think about EG, they have a unique thing going right now, right? They have like this tri lane, like three big cores, and you're like, is Arteezy gonna get farmed this game? Is Sumail gonna get farmed? Is Fear just gonna be Dragonite or Viper going on? You know, they have their unique style, that they're rocking. Uh, and LGD is the same thing. They're just picking like this Beastmaster stuff. So right. LGD has kind of forged their own identity in the tournament, uh, and they're just now adding another threat to the Chinese region, which wasn't really there before. Wow, Trent. So yeah, that's your DAC. That's all you need to know. That's the rundown. That's that was very That's nicely it. said, though. You've, Thank you. You've really been keeping up well despite uh, dad duties there, Mr. Mr. Dota Daddy. Is that, is, that, is that out now? Is that? <laughs> what? I was yes, still not telling out. anybody, Trent. I, is that out? Is that public? tell anybody about Cliff. Yeah, he's quite real. No, it's, yeah. He's, he's all too real. Well, this is oh, our first uh, What the Duck since the baby, right? Yeah, how, how yep. long has it been now, Trent? It's been a couple weeks already, yeah? One week? What? Yeah, he's uh, 20... I think he's 20 days today. 20 days. Jeez, Time flies. Three, Slax, uh, you, you missed it on the Zyori podcast. Oh. We did like a 29-minute yes. uh, whole baby breakdown about the excitement of the baby popping out a little earlier than planned. It was, uh, it was a whole thing. Just a little. You know? I know there's a lot just of just viewers out there that enjoyed the... Uh, the keen anecdotes we were oh. able to bring to the table. Well, congratulations on fatherhood, Trent. You know, I got Thanks. a few out there that I don't know what happened to them, but uh, it's good <laughs> you 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 keep in track of yours. So that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, I don't know, he's not too bad. I think uh, we're getting a little bit lucky so far. So uh, he uh, he doesn't fuss too much. You know, he goes down pretty easy at night. A natural it's just Canadian. Like, get up. The getting up really sucks. Like. Every three hours, three to four hours to feed him. Oh, that blows. God. Get up, feed him, change him. Middle of the night, you're like a zombie. Not gonna but warn at least you, during Trent. DAC, there's Dota on. Trent, I got to so. warn you, buddy. Do you know uh -huh. that there's a thing with celebrity dads, right? Right. right. Celebrity they dads? Celebrity dads. So they say that Super if sexy. you're somebody in the public eye and uh -huh. you have a child. Nice to help you out. Thank man. you. People find you much more attractive. You get a higher fan base because they know that you're a dedicated provider and maybe you don't cause too much of a threat. You know, they know if they go up to Whoa. an event and they're wow. like, hey, Trent, I think you're really cute. You're not going to be like, let's bang because you got baby. So I'm and just saying. Panties, I also did all my own taxes this morning. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Yeah. The yeah. full package. That's right. I'm just saying, yeah. Trent, next event, you're going to have a lot of fans coming up. You'd be a good boy now that you're a daddy. You know they're gonna be wanting some of that packs. If you know what I will know what I'm saying. Some of that mott packs, the bad mm -hmm. boy. It's all gonna come out. Is this making you uncomfortable? You're right. No, no. <laughs> but if it can hop happen to Doctor Disrespect, it can happen to you, Trent. All right. <laughs> Damn. Dude. I mean, I mean, come on. Now. <laughs> All what right, was that guy guys, I, I really want to shift here, though. There, There is a topic that when I saw it on the top of the subreddit, <laughs> whoa, it, whoa, it we'll, made me... We'll get to the main Come course. On, dude. We'll on. get to the main course. <laughs> I'm hungry, baby. <laughs> Chill. We got more tournaments to talk about. <laughs> Jesus. All right. We let's do? get the other tournaments out of the way. All right. What, what are Dream you? League uh, happened. I like the things that they did with the... Uh, I love the uh, the uh, Odie <clears throat> Pixel Fogged Bunker. Oh, That yeah, yeah. was one of the funniest things I ever oh. saw. It was, was literally crazy. like the end of the world, and the only two people living are Odie Pixel and Fogged, and all they can do is watch Dota. It was just they were trapped in there for a <laughs> week, casting for 12 hours a day. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, uh, that was a sick qualifier. And I liked the uh, the Sheever desk, too. It brought a lot of authority I to her. I actually the Sheever show. really like plus. Yeah, seriously, I really liked the desk. I thought that was because they're set. Like, we've all been there, right? Yeah, we've yeah. seen what that studio looks like. It's it's not a huge amount of space, and you think, how could they switch it up? And I thought it almost looked like a different space. It was yeah. pretty cool. I 100% dig on the desk. I hope it comes back. I mean, the, the desk is great. It, they would knock on. Yeah, it makes you look like too. Jimmy Fallon or something. You're just sitting there, yeah. like, commanding the whole thing. It's fucking awesome. So good job from them. Did you guys watch GESC? Anybody? No. That was when I had a baby. Okay. Well, that's one excuse. Did, yes. Did you, you. Uh, did you slacks? I was hunting that content down. Yeah. 
And I could not find the content. And I fucking scoured. I'm not kidding around. I stayed up all night. I went through the VODs. I couldn't find any of the goddamn content from the event. Well, BTS uploaded it after. They did? did? They? I think so. They had like the uh, gods envy. They redid the Mick whatever thing. What, what are those breakfast sandwiches called? The muffin? The Mick griddle? Yeah. Oh, oh the, yeah, the yeah. yeah. That was the only piece that I saw because it was on Reddit. With the We stole gods a sandwich. Oh, but they yeah. did a lot of. Wasn't there something about like chair jousting and shit like that? Uh, I, I oh, I didn't see didn't any see of that. Yeah, fuck. So uh, it flew under the radar. DSC upload the content for God's sakes. As a, as one of the only guys in this scene that makes goddamn content, I get obsessed about watching other people's <laughs> shit. I heard the GESC was pretty oh. smoothly. Wow, there's a lot of them. Dota talent learn to squat. Dota players try Indonesian snacks. What? What Dota talent do to events? Where is this at? Is this at BTS? It's, it's on the BTS YouTube. Dude, are you? I, no, it's on the GESC YouTube. How, I searched for hours. Trent, well, at the time, I, they must have uploaded it uh, later. Yeah, they, they got uploaded, uh, uploaded late. You are correct. Oh, okay. okay. Shit. Well, there we go. All right. Well, but I'll go so, watch yeah. those soon then. Well, Damn. we should have done our homework. My bad. I heard GESC was very well run from like a logistics perspective. Yeah. Everyone I talked to said it was like... They were very well taken care of. It felt very smooth. Like every land has a couple road bumps, but it felt like very well organized, especially since they haven't really done an event before, at least not specifically in Dota. Yeah, I heard so, uh, all the talent cool. that went there said it was like the best talent experience they've ever had, which mm -hmm. is meaningless <laughs> um, to everybody. I mean, fuck the talent, in my opinion, and the players. Yeah. Well, Get me the good games play? and the content. Make it for I got the fans. A rant here. Why, why are people thinking that my headset mic is unmuted? Do you guys know how TeamSpeak works? You can't have two audio sources going at the same time no. for one person. It's just because we're not... That's basically possible. I know, but sorry, I need to rant. That's not how it works. <laughs> you not think? We understand? There's only one audio input when you're fucking doing some shit. So how could they both be going? Yeah. Focus, people. Think. Th use your brain. This is new daddy Trent. He's real. He's got a short fucking fuse, people. <laughs> Don't mess with him. He's running on two hours of sleep. He's pissed. I like yeah. it, dude. I like <laughs> this trend. This is this was like trend on day three of Midas mode bounties, you know, where it comes out. <laughs> and that was, that was listen, let's just get this done. <laughs> okay. All right. That's the angriest you guys are ever gonna see me. Half of you, yeah. Get the I go, go rock you. climbing. Get out of here. <laughs> Daddy's gotta work. Jesus. Oh, sweet Jiminy Crickets. Okay, so yeah, a lot of tournaments been going on. I'm like you, Slacks. I, I can't do the not time zone thing anymore. You yeah. Know? And yeah. anything that's like on a in totally inverted, like some sort of Asian time zone, it's tough for me to watch. I kind of see highlights. I get little bits when I wake up and before I go to bed, but I'm yeah. I'm old, man. I'm I'm snoozing before 11. I mean, I try to do it just for research purposes, you know? Yeah, so I, I know. You're really in dedicated. The community. I'm real into that stuff, but uh, yeah. Uh, we're missing one, aren't we? Oh, DAC. <laughs> We already talked yeah, about so that. Yeah, it's right happening now. right now. God damn, that's a long goddamn tournament. Yes, it is. It yeah, is a monolith cool. of a tournament. Whew, sweet. I've Jesus. just been watching like select replays and just going through player perspectives. Cause that's that, I kind of just watch it differently if it's on yeah. a different time zone. Because like you can't cool. avoid getting spoiled unless you just like don't want to go on Twitter or something like that. So rather than like trying to avoid results, I'd rather just be like, oh okay, I see who's in lower bracket and upper bracket today, and I just go back and I watch the replays and be like, oh why'd they lose? You know, you can like watch the whole replay with the mindset of like, yeah. all right, they're gonna lose this game. What could they have done here? What could they have oh. done? Blah, blah, blah. What's PPD doing? Let's watch his perspective this whole game. Um, and speaking of perspective, man, I've been watching a lot of those Leshrac games. I don't know. I'm not sold on the support Leshrac guys. No? Still? Uh, no. I, I don't know. It's like he's got that lightning to slow down, and then you try and fall off with the Sand King stun, and then you use the Leshrac split earth, and you're like, damn, this is ownage. But... I don't know. I feel like I'd rather just have Witch Doctor, guys. Well, he's sure. So, he's so good. He is good. All right. Let's talk about this, and then we'll go on to your piece de la resistance. I want to talk about pa Kyle, bro, the rise of the pro player panelist. Ah. Eh? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sunsetting hard over here, guys. I'm, see ya. Oh, no. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Well, I, I remember it was at uh, the summit. I was talking to PPD, and I told him, I was like, yo, bro, stop being a fucking player. And be a panelist. Like, pro player panelists, they're the only <laughs> ones that can have a set of balls uh, in Dota. It sucks. But I've been waiting for a panelist that just goes out there and, be, and is like, this team fucking sucks. But if anyone else does that that's not a pro player, they don't have the agency and they get hyper flamed. None of us could do that. Maybe yeah. I could do it because people are like, oh, he's a, he's a retard. He's just, yeah. My offense. <laughs> he's I'm joking trying not around. to use that word anymore. I'm sorry. This guy's an idiot. But if, like, only pro players can do it, it sucks, man. 
Why can't you well, be the the Thorin of of Dota, me? Sayori? Just go out there and be like, Optic I'm, have no goddamn idea what they're doing. I'm I'm too <laughs> sensitive, dude. It seems like the those types relish too much in hard slamming the retards, as you said hey, on well, Twitter. Well, I did not say <laughs> that. All right. Like, well, you know, so I I don't mind correcting people when they're wrong, but they have yeah. another level of just like you gotta you always have to get the last word, and I have no interest in do. That's why I can never be Thorin or Richard Lewis. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah. I don't always want to get the last word. I don't really care. I'm always surprised at how flamed Blitz gets for like shitting on some team or saying something and then he always says things like oh you can't you know you can't be too truthful and you can't like say the th real thing i feel like i shit on people all the time when i cast <laughs> you're I canadian like every time i go to a land i'm just like that was awful i don't know what they were thinking <laughs> blah 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 and i've never had a hate thread no one's ever said anything well it's 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 the I, delivery I don't get it you're canadian dude you're like oh wow That's what it. a great team they were really <laughs> bad this time i mean come on no one's gonna be look at your face dude blitz yeah. you know he's like True. Yeah, North America. <laughs> like, it's so scary. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, hmm. I don't know. I it's cool to have a panelist like Kyle. I think mm -hmm. he's great. Um, and I, uh, but uh, it'd be nice if other people didn't get their shit jumped on, like my boy Blitz for not for talking a little bit of smack. But uh, I guess only I pro mean, players can do it. It it's always been a thing though, right? Like a lot of every pretty much every analyst that I've talked to throughout my Dota career that hasn't been a pro player has been nervous of the day that pro players retire and want to start doing talent work on the panel because yeah. you just have this pedigree that is above someone who hasn't been in the booth playing exactly. for millions of dollars or elimination mm. in TI or whatever, you know, and that there, there's just a, from a public perspective, maybe not objectively, but I think you have a leg up. Like people take what you say as gospel more so if you don't have that uh, compared to if you don't have that experience. Sure, but I I'm not too worried about it though. There's like three or four pro players I can name off the top of my head that could sit on a panel and handle it. But let's not uh, be reminded of TI7, uh, wow. <laughs> where some people can't handle See, being on a panel. But, well, but a lot of those people aren't panelists like they're, they're not aspiring to become a panelist they were invited as sort of like maybe not a one-off that sounds harsh but you right. know sort of a special type event i think if some of those players committed to being talent saying hey i want my future career to be broadcasting this is how i'm going to make my livelihood mm -hmm. they could learn how to do it there just aren't many that are interested in doing that because most of them want to keep playing because right. you make way more fucking money in prestige as a player <laughs> sure i mean it's a if yes. you can compete and if you think you could even qualify for ti you're much better off doing that than running for caster true. for the most part. True, true. Well, definitely don't run as a caster if you're a pro player, guys. I mean, that, forget <laughs> I'm that. Sure, uh, I'm sure Kyle's got his yeah. TI invite locked up by now, honestly. You think so? If he doesn't get on a team that qualifies, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I would say so. He's the kind of person that I want there, though, because he is very personable. I mean, he, from what I understand, he did a lot of casting during Han and stuff, too. So it's not like he literally is just doing this for the first time ever. He kind of knows yeah. what he's doing, right? So. Yeah, I remember um, like way back in the Han days, one of the things that Kyle said about Breaky that he was always really impressed with, with his was his ability to make uninteresting games seem like they could be interesting. Like Kyle always said in Han, I'll be happy to be there to cast the grand finals if you need me, but I can't pretend to make this qualifier shit interesting. You know, he was always very blunt like that. And I think it, it is sort of true, though. You know, like mm -hmm. it's way more interesting when you're casting a land that has like a meta to it. And you can really put that next level analysis in compared to sometimes, you know, you can't always analyze college Dota, for example. Sometimes they're just fucking yeah, throwing Yeah, pretty funny. You know? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hot off the presses, guys, from the official Dota 2 Twitter. Today oh, okay. we issued a wave of permanent matchmaking bans to players who were found to be abusing cheats, a.k.a. auto-hex scripting. There will be subsequent ban waves in the coming weeks. We do not support or condone the use of any third-party modification during games. Ooh. But, uh, I have to say, I've been a little bit startled with the amount of um, like clips lately of cheating. Clearly something happened where it became much more widespread. Yeah, Gosu Gamers is like, you know, 9% of all games have a cheater in them. Yeah, yeah. something like that. that. That surprised me, Ooh. I have to say. Well, no, not that that's true, but well, <laughs> that's just tabloid yellow journalism. But I mean, with the bands, uh -huh. I agree. <laughs> I will say, so like I, I play in like that, that mid 3K bracket, right? So you get a yeah. weird mixture of games where, you know, it's not uncommon to have a mid player who's at the upper end just stomp all these people that are on the lower end of 3K. Like it's a really widespread. But there are definitely games where it feels like you're like, huh, these people are oddly good for this skill level. 
And it makes you wonder a little bit with some heroes like that kind of instant reaction scripting with auto hex and stuff like that. I kind of believe it just from like an anecdotal playing a couple hundred games over the last, you know, six months or something. Yeah. It feels like I bump into more people that grossly outskill me in a surprising manner that didn't used to happen before with mm. those sort of reaction things. So like Meepo spammers that, you know. Yeah. If, yeah. Yeah. I, think I like it when you precast hex on someone before they blink at you and then they pause and accuse you of uh, hacking. Oh. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's easy Just to do, like though. It. I think yeah. the only scripter I've ever played against was actually yesterday. We had a life stealer that every time he would die, his magic wand would go off. He like never had to press, but it was like instant. I was playing Zeus, huh. and I uh, did a uh, uh, Nimbus and an ult and a lightning bolt like all at once, and then he just <laughs> he was just fine, and it he was a hundred percent dead. But weird. Yeah, maybe uh, hmm. I don't know. Scripters, huh? It, doesn't that make well, a? Isn't armlet toggling another scripting type thing yeah, that you yeah, can yeah. do? Pretty. Yeah. But. Uh, I don't know. They haven't made a big stance. On, like, th didn't they say like you can have like certain keybinds and shit, and that's okay? I mean, what's the difference between a script and a keybind, really, guys? I mean, let's be well, real. like macros and well, stuff. Like, you can't, you know, how it is. Uh, so a script or a macro is you press one key and it does a series of actions. Oh, that's that's. So you can't have one key that does your invoker combo. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? Well, because that's well, cheese Val dick is fuck. Because invoker is supposed to be hard. It's supposed to make your fingers hurt. Well, you know, but if you buy the right kind of mouse. <laughs> you've earned it. You've earned it. Don't <laughs> it. <laughs> How do you think Steel Series is still in business? That's, All right, uh, that's true. Uh, but you it's can't pay to win. A though. script doesn't require a keybind. Ah, okay, just Smurficus. So you're saying that if I make the Invokers combo mm. on F, that's okay because I still have to press F. No, that is that is also not okay. <laughs> that, that is that is a macro. Well, I'm a cheater. I got. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But uh, anyway, um, huh. Interesting. I mean, Valve has always been very anti-cheat, you know, and there have been times in the past where they've implemented anti-cheat software that kind of is like potent has potential to invade privacy on your computer because that's how like, you know, it wants to detect cheating software really well. Oh, I remember you that. know, and Gabe came out was like, dude, I don't give a fuck what kind of porn you're looking at. I just want to make games not suck. Trust me a little bit. We kind of know what we're doing. You know, they've always taken a fairly aggressive stance and ridden that line in a way a lot of publishers haven't been able to get away with. So. Yeah. It's not surprising in the least. It's awesome. It's cool. I want that makes me want to go play some fucking pubs tonight. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. How long until the same thing happens to uh, rampant feeders? How is, you know, how are they any different? They ruin just as many games. Rampant feeders. Yeah, people who just well. do the same shit every game. When people will that your are just assault on Chappie constantly. finally end, Trent? <laughs> Chill. Not until he's gone. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> God, that guy's impressive. Ramp the fact that he stays so high ranked when he just throws away so many games. Uh, like, uh. damn, dude. Yes. Well, okay, so I can say 100% a cheater should be gone. I mean, that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're if you're cheating, if you downloaded third-party software to get an edge, you should be gone. But isn't lifetime low priority, isn't that a nice... You know, game ruiners can just live there in their own little hut. I mean, that Australia I mean, worked just out. I account, though. Why can't we just do well, that? Well, but can't you can't. Why wouldn't you just make a new account? Yeah, well, cause you gotta get a new phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? That's oh, not yeah, that I big did, a deal, I dude. About that. Huh? Well, that's kind of a big deal. You can just get another phone number if you want to play ranked. Or I mean, you can get a burner phone for like twenty bucks and just link it real quick. It's really not that hard, guys. Come on. Sure. Yeah, it's still twenty bucks. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I that. I don't think Google numbers work though, right? The the Pudge Arcana is thirty five dollars, dude. You can afford twenty bucks on a burner phone, so you can use that thing in fucking public ranking ranked games. All right, I'm sure, on, sure, sure. But do you think that it's fair for this six month ban thing with the repeated stuff for being a toxic piece of garbage? I mean, I think it's cool that they give you a warning. They, it's like you're going to get banned. So, so what's the question? Is six months too extreme, or you think lifetime is too extreme when they're handing out six month bans for being toxic? Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Well, isn't cheating way like toxic? Is like, hey, you could be having a really rough part of your life right now. You just need to cool down, come back. You could still be a cool player after you're done right. dealing with your divorce. Dude, if you're a cheater, a you're kind of just a cheater, and I think it's like, uh, you know, get him out. Yeah, it's it's once a cheater, always a cheater. Isn't that the old slogan? You know, or yep. they can make a new account and not cheat if they want to. But <laughs> like permaban every time. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, I okay. think it's just different. You know, one sure. psycho. Well, they're both psychology, but one's one's moral and one's a little more circumstantial. 
don't know. I feel like lifetime bands are good. Look, it, it worked for Tyler One. You know, he's the most, <laughs> he's the biggest personality in league now because he got lifetime banned. It's a big deal. It's good. Yeah, I don't know. All right. It's a hard group to have sympathy for. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's really a hard group to be like. I mean, but they spent five hundred dollars on cosmetics. I'm like, yeah, but they were ruining the game experience for countless of others that they queued against. <laughs> Fuck them, dude. Yeah. Okay. Fuck them. I just don't know why we don't have a prison quee. You know, like perming low priority. Let them let them toxic themselves out. You put a bunch of criminals the in a building. The shadow pool. Yeah. yeah. The hidden pool, but not so hidden. I mean, whatever. If you want to do that, that's. I'm not wow, against we it. We have a Tyler one sub in the chat. Shout out to you. Wow, we dude. had one. Thank you. That really wow. that, impressive. The quee. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I mean, why not? Let them keep playing super toxic Dota, but let them live on their own island of toxic <laughs> land. Wouldn't it be fun if, if you had enough commends, you were able to access toxic land to try to reform them? <laughs> Imagine how fun <laughs> that would be. save them. Like, let them, you get 2,000 <laughs> commends, and you're able to quee back. in the demon <laughs> in hell. Dude. And you can Will that be fun? One person back. <laughs> you can sell your services. You can trade commends. To sell to someone to bring them back into yes! the Yes! Okay, the okay. I got a new system. Valve, listen up. <laughs> you make a, a toxic qui where only the... I, instead of six mouth banning, you put them in their own prison. Then guys with a certain amount of commands can go in, and if they train somebody up, if they reintroduce them, they get a free to item drop. <laughs> Dude. So you can, like, reintegrate That's it. the <laughs> criminal. And it's a wheel, too. And it can be a common earn arcana. You <laughs> don't know. It's just you, you know, get a free queen. Dude, you know, <laughs> e every good judicial system is all about reform. You know, you got to get them back into the populace. That's right. That's the only way forward. Imagine the funny ass streams you could have as the guy who goes in trying to drag people out of hell. <sighs> the map could have its own map skin. It's like literally hell. <laughs> you can't guys. take it off. Like the fire and brimstone map. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a billion-dollar no idea. I hope you're listening, Gabe. The fucking map textures are just fire and volcanoes, and then the guys that come in have, like, little omni Knight angel things. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you. All right, I'm writing a letter. I'm putting it on Reddit. I'll see you guys tonight. We're there, dude. Sounds good. All right, good. All right, it's finally time, Zyori. Oh. Well, hold on, hold on. I wanted to ask, nice. speaking of going on Reddit, you're, um, you had a Pudge post. Yeah. Because we had the new Arcana, as you guys saw. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did that work out for you? Did you learn any new tips against Pudge? Did you feel like you helped the community? I did learn a few tips against Pudge. I have to say I'm pissed off. My friend Lieutenant Burnside is the worst Pudge in fucking yes. history. He's garbage. And I, brought, yep. I bought the Arcana to ironically gift it to him. Because um, I thought it would be really funny. Be like, man, I'm so impressed by your Pudge. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally bought it because you know how it shows how many hooks you get in a row? Mm -hmm. I just yeah. want to say, like, still see zero hooks, Bernie. What's <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> You give it to your friend so you can openly mock them. You can't right, trade right. it till the 10th. What the fuck? I mean, oh. No, that's the. Yeah, you can't even gift it. It's the uh, exalted thing, it right? Sucks, Isn't that the whole, the whole deal? Ah, I just want to. That's what it is. You know, force an arcane on my friend to flame him. Is that such a big deal? Why can't I do that? Yeah, I don't know. The, the ex it's just uh, the exalted thing. Is just, hey, you buy it now and it glitters. What? It doesn't do anything. It no, says it just, exalted. It just says exalted, dude. But mm -hmm. that was the highest reputation rank in World of Warcraft. So oh. they're cashing in on those Blizzard fanboys that are switching over oh. into the Valve ecosystem. They're tickling oh, that God exalted him, fancy. And I also think I just fixed that weird noise reduction thing with Trent. So, nice. Um, Hell yeah. Wow. Say something, Trent. What do you got? Thank you. Yeah, uh, he's back, Oh, baby. baby. Okay. Oh, great. Glad glad you did it, dude. Yeah. Only halfway Thank through you. the podcast, dude. It's yeah. been like that well for done. the last 30 podcasts. So, guys, I'm I'm a tech genius. I Thank fixed you. it now. Thank you Live so much. It. So, can we talk about the Not thing? Not yet. Come on, dude. Not yet. Please, stop teasing. You'd, you'd make a good stripper. You're good at teasing Thank me. Thank you. Yes. Trent, why do you ask about the pudge there? I didn't learn much except for, I guess, Lifestealer is super good, which I already knew. But I was trying to think of a support. Who's who's your go-to support in pudge games? Uh, I like Oracle, generally. <laughs> can just, like, save people. Anybody you know, that wins games? Just, like, fates eating. <laughs> uh, people used to do... Oh, no, that was... People used to do Chen and Pudge together. Not just because of Fountain Hook. Because you can like heal them while he's rotten people. Uh, I don't know. No, Abba's really good, but you can't really play him support anymore. Yeah. A lot of supports kind of suck against Pudge. I mean, that's his thing. He kills supports, you know. Yeah. I guess you could pick Dark Willow, right? Because if you got hooked, you could W, and then he can't uh, ult you. 
Oh, my God. Can I say one more thing? Sure, dude. Fucking right. Rubik, people. What is wrong with you guys right now? Rubik is not a counter to punch. I don't care that fucking Kuroki can land sick <laughs> hooks. You're not Kuroki. Any punch that isn't a goddamn idiot is going to instantly rot after a hook. I played like seven fucking games yesterday. There is a punch in every game. Sure, the arcane is out. Whatever. It was great. Mm -hmm. But the fucking Rubik's. Stop. It's horrible. I said if Rubik won the Arcana, I would stop playing Dota for four months. And now I feel like I'm going to fucking stop because the fucking Rubik counterpick. You ain't counterpicking shit, dumbasses. Stop with the Rubik's. Do you feel the same? Yeah, that's yeah, fairly accurate. I have honestly. not won a game with a fucking Rubik on my team in eight months. All right? It's <laughs> yeah. horrible. You're all bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Nelfield's pretty ownage. Who cares? Anyway. Jesus. It, I, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I, those high skill. You know, so I, have you noticed now, I don't know if it's a Dota Plus thing, but when you go into a pub and you mouse over people's portraits, it shows you like their recent win percentage, yeah. right? That is a cool tool, but a scary one. There's a it guy is. where it's like, <laughs> <You're> hey, <laughs> I, I love Wisp, and he queues up Wisp, but I mouse over. It's like 6 and 17. <laughs> oh, boy, this is going to be a fun one. So, yes. Rubik is one of those heroes that I, I'm like, all right, let's see this guy. And it's just like, oh, my, yes, 25% win rate. A Rubik player, are we? Hmm. I will say, people said Dota Plus did not have a lot of benefits. That is literally the no. benefit. When I see I a Shadow Fiend mid first pick, and I scroll over, and he has like, a fucking 15% win rate. I'm like, I'm going mid. Yep. <laughs> That's just yeah. it. It's amazing. Yeah. Ugh. It's good. All right. I think it's time, Trent. Are we ready to let him go? Yeah, let him go. All right. Go ahead, buddy. Be free. All right, roll guys. it out, buddy. What do you All got? All right, guys. So this is one. It, oh, it, roll up the sleeves. Let's get right, dirty. It, it made headlines yesterday. I saw it just, uh, oh, my. Noob I from saw UA. It on CNN. His YouTube channel has officially been shut down. Uh, all the, all, it's all gone. <laughs> All the content has been evaporated. Oh. And um you know, if you have ever seen a greater a, a greater case of just kind of general karma, I Jesus tweet it my way, man. My God. So what makes this so interesting, right? And shitty is that his channel is actually a good thing for Dota from a public perspective. Because mm -hmm. he he had a good eye for pulling out yep. the best parts of games and streams and it really was a good, if you've got an hour a week to watch Dota, it's a good one-stop shop to get a good variety of funny plays, big plays, tournament plays, all that kind of shit. The but do you know what else is great? What? The Pirate Bay. When I want to watch a movie, and I don't want to pay for it. So I just do that. Yeah. And it's easy, and I get it instantly, and it's lovely. That's a, oh. that's a great, oh. uh, great analogy, that's Trent. Because oh, that's not fair use. But I like it, and it helps me. Yeah. <laughs> He really, yep. he was kind of a bottom feeder. I'm not gonna, not gonna not say it. That was really his business model. It was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the hard work of others. I'm gonna repackage it, and uh, I'm gonna put it out there. And he was a real thorn in uh, our collective side as content creators for a lot of years. And my <laughs> fucking god, I am not upset to see that channel gone, dude. It was like. You know, if if you're if you're profiting off of other people's work, it's in your interest to try to like be somewhat easy to work with. And he was very much like, a, "Well, YouTube's not going to take it down, so fuck you" type attitude, and that'll come back to bite you. And that's what happened. So you know what, dude, you did it to yourself. Damn, dude. Damn. Been waiting for that. I got. I've been waiting years for this moment, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta disagree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, but, you know, if you agree with that statement, then you know who you disagree with? Hmm. Gabe Newell. Why? Gabe Newell said, you want to know why I created Steam? Because people will do the easiest thing possible. If you want to have content out there and you make it easier than buying the content, they will steal the content. Mm -hmm. You have to make things easy to digest. And... It wasn't that Noob from UA was good at making clips. It wasn't oh, that he got him out fast. He Those are both it. pluses. But the pluses, you get PGL, DreamHack, any kind of Dota, Sing Sing, Admiral Bulldog, all in one place. Mm -hmm. That was yep. the strength. And you can't do that in the ecosystem that we have. So sh everyone's like, why doesn't PGL hire editors? There's no fucking return. Who's going to... That's the thing. Right? Yeah. That's what people don't seem to get. It's like... 
like PGL wants to build their channel. They don't want the highlight channel, and then like it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It doesn't. I, don't know. I mean, you can't hire a guy to make clips on your YouTube because your YouTube has two hundred fucking subbers. Like mm -hmm. no one's gonna check the YouTube. It was convenience that made it good. Mm -hmm. And unless every org in Dota gets together to have a third party YouTube channel that posts all the clips, mm -hmm. which. <laughs> You know, Dota 2 YouTube could actually happen. If you run a Dota 2 official YouTube, they Dota itself, Valve itself, could hire a person to put all Valve-sponsored tournament clips in one place, no. although that would be a lot of work and money, but wouldn't that you make the community That sounds like happen? the last thing Valve would do. That sounds, that like, sounds like I would find Valve <laughs> customer support. Sounds cool, that. though. I'd, I'd be into that. Wouldn't you be into that? If Dota 2, any Valve-associated yeah. YouTube had clips from Noob from UA hired by Valve to work on their official YouTube... Mm -hmm. Nice, but what do I know? Anyway, so it could never happen unless that was the way that was because these guys want to compete. They don't mm -hmm. want each other. So I, I'm not saying I support the guy, but I certainly feel like it's something that I don't blame people or him from doing. Ab abso absolutely. It's like it, it's kind of along that logic of making something illegal doesn't stop people from doing it if there's a demand for it, mm -hmm. right? So I don't blame the users of his channel or that audience at all. I understand why they like the one-stop shop. I, I blame yeah. him for being unapologetic about basically stealing content and then denying it and hiding behind that old Valve video policy that now we know was misinterpreted by a lot of people for a long time, right? Yeah. And he really milked that to his advantage. And he, he didn't really have a strong case for it. And it was very difficult. Like when I was at BTS from like a PR perspective, dealing with... Well, I mean, Suns fan got shit on. Yeah, that, that too, right? But dealing with that, he really riled the community up against the people that were... Wor like Summit 1, Summit 2, nobody was getting rich off that shit. You know, it takes mm -hmm. a while for that to ramp up. So you're at like Summit 2, he's the one stealing the content that is growing his YouTube, preventing the BTS YouTube from growing. It's like, dude, we're investing in the ecosystem, in ourselves, in the game, in the audience, in the teams. This is a huge deal for us. And just letting this guy take it actually could harm our ability to get the return on this whole thing and continue to help yeah. the ecosystem. And to contact him and have it come back is just like, well... You can't get it taken down, so I'm going to leave it up. Is just it, That's really <laughs> shitty. Yeah. And then to not be able to go to your audience and explain that, and instead they're all like, yeah, fuck you for DMCAing this guy. Who, we don't care that he stole your shit. You should have put it up. You just feel really shitty about this thing that you put a lot of time, money, and effort into. Yeah, the community's reaction to it has always been so kind of surprising. That, that is the <laughs> yeah. core of where my rage comes from with this. Right. And maybe that's like my own bias, but it's he, he played that whole game to his advantage, and I just... I, I had a couple sleepless nights because of that shit, and I'm not the only one. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just that that part of it is why I don't feel bad but, for him as an individual. Uh, sure. The question, like, it kind of everyone's like, but we need this thing like Sports Center, like, because I remember growing up, I rarely watched full sports. I didn't watch a lot of like basketball, like full games. I watched a lot of hockey full games, but I was still very plugged in to like basically everything happening in the NBA because I would just watch Sports Center. You know what I mean? You still get to watch all the highlights and everything. Some people want that same thing. Uh, and it's just like, oh, you know, that I would love to go to a single place to watch all that stuff together. But when you look at Sports Center, they're paying like royalty rights to like, you know, use this content from this broadcaster and that broadcaster and all that kind of shit. Plus, a lot of the time they don't even have like the, well, I guess they did use the um, like audio commentary and stuff. But again, they pay for it and like they can make money off of that so they can pay for it. Yep. But he probably can't make a decent payment and also still you know, pay every tournament organizer for their uh, their audio. Plus then, how's the organizer going to pay for that? They're going to be like, okay, well, we paid for Trent's voice on this one, so we'll just take some money there. Perfect. But, yeah. I mean, how much would you charge? I'd be charging. And it's it's done, hard to, you know? Yeah, because yeah. Uh, those people also don't understand how important numbers are when mm -hmm. you do a tournament. When you have a bunch of people and you can say, look at how okay, many Okay, now, now, saying that, yeah. hold on. I actually think Noob from UA, theoretically... The way Epicenter did it, if I'm not mistaken, is they gave him the overlays, right? And then they would put his the overlays for the tournament before the highlights and at the end of the highlights. Then you could add those numbers to your advertising. Potentially. I mean, there are a lot of ways you so could there, make it There's work. a way you could have positively used them. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Like, if, yeah. if he used that as an opportunity to get attention and then say, hey, I've got this awesome business where you can hire me, I can do this thing, we can monetize it, you know, there are absolutely ways you can make what he, you know, the, the central hub that Slacks described, 
he basically could have been that with like kind of the proper business development, but he's not a business. It's just one dude. Yeah. He's just a dude that was just making clips at that had a YouTube channel that blew up. You know, it, I don't know that it was part of a greater plan other than he was, I mean, he was at it for a while, what, like f five years or something, four years. I mean, as long as pro Dota has been big, it's been a while since I was at BTS and he was going <laughs> strong when I started yeah. there. So, and I, I guess the main thing that orgs have a problem with is again, it's not only viewers, but it's also the sponsor shit because they doesn't use their overlays and stuff. And it's really hard to tell a sponsor the sponsors are giving you money so that people watch the content, see the logo. And mm -hmm. if the logo's not on there, they're like, what the fuck are we giving you money for? It's so hard to sell in the Dota 2 space right now already. Yeah. Not to mention if you can't even promise that people are going to watch your shit, it's super impossible. However, still think that the hub thing could happen. Valve and Dota, <laughs> all right? Dota 2 official YouTube, just hire Noob from UA and have him officially do the clips. Wouldn't that be so sick? That'd be the way to do it. I'd do it, but I, I have no interest in watching pro Dota. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I I feel like my general attitude has has changed. I've talked to a lot of other content creators that have said, "Listen, I I used to have that feeling of, hey, that's my voice. You can't use it without my permission. And when people do take my content, I feel like they stole it." And he's like, "That's not the reason why you should be making content in the first place. And the fact that someone else is using it is really more of a compliment than anything else. Yeah, they're spreading it out there." And that doesn't take away from the fact that you own it. You know, if someone else is claiming they created it, that's different. But if mm -hmm. someone is just sharing it or kind of using it in, in a general fair use context, you know, there's a lot of gray area there. Mm. You still did it. And that's just a testament to your work. So you need to let some of that shit go. And that was sort of why I stopped fighting. I was like, you know, I, you're, you're kind of right. It's not worth the headache of, of fighting this because he is sort of spreading my brand. But it is kind of a, a weird thing. But then you think about like stand-up comedians, right? There's clips of them saying shit out of context all over YouTube and Instagram and all sorts of other places. So it's not like we're the only people in the entertainment industry that have to deal with it. And in those situations, they just have to fucking deal with it. It's part of the, yeah. you know? I don't know. Personally, I, if I, I ever got a U, U, new from UA video, I'd be pretty psyched. But I'm You've a, never <laughs> been in a U from, new from UA video? He's, so you definitely have. You, 100%. Oh, well, then I'm super psyched. Oh, man, they deleted the channel. Poop. <laughs> I never, uh -huh. I'll never get to know. But uh, I don't know. I guess it's the same kind of thing as, remember the voice line thing? That was uh, where people were mad about using the voice lines Oh, and like shit. The, with the valve? The valve thing. Yes, yeah. that was when they, yeah, with the, um, yeah. What's the red eye Toby the LD. Wheel. Yeah. In the words of Shadow Shaman, you should be honored. <laughs> 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 That's how I would say it. But uh, I don't know. It's a weird thing. <sighs> It, it's a weird thing yeah. that I, IP rights and big, you know, and all these different brands and IPs are over overlapping with each other and coming together at one and who's paying who and who really owns what. It's fucking complicated. Like I saw somebody say in Twitch chat, like, you know, I try not to steal things, but I have torrented some movies, but I see why New From UA is fucked up and I feel kind of like a hypocrite. And I think it's like that is just the fact of the digital age. It's hard yeah. to resist the temptation. You know, where do I buy yeah. Indiana Jones? I don't fucking know. I can just torrent it in five minutes. Who really gives a shit, you know? Right. I want to make a movie and I need some music. Oh, this yeah. sounds great. <laughs> Download so, from the internet. I mean, that's fucked up. <laughs> it's all yeah. fucked up. Welcome to the internet. So you are generally right, though. The solution is trying to make things accessible and like price points, like the, the genius of Apple with the 99 cent song download. They found the price that people were willing to pay to not be a criminal. Yeah. You know, Netflix, 10 bucks a month. You get to watch all these TV shows. It's like, well... It's worth it. I'll pay 10 bucks a month to have all this and not have to worry about downloading it and not having subtitles and the audio being fucked up and, you know, whatever else. Mm -hmm. So that that really is the solution. And we're just not quite there yet with these. We're not stuff. quite there no, yet. Just a little bit. Well, baby steps. But just imagine people would pay. Into, I, I really think this idea you give this guy every org gives him 10K. You got seven orgs giving a guy 10K to make a universal YouTube on Dota 2. Grow the game. And what? And then all the profits and the viewership money goes to the orgs? Yep. And then you're going to split that all up between them all? Yep. I don't know. I bet those royalties They all you share the know. $30 a month from we'll be, YouTube. We'll be so dank, dude. You <laughs> said poop once and the video's demonetized. We haven't had a monetized video on YouTube in months <laughs> now, I think. <laughs> well, that's the thing, yeah. too. I, there's zero reason to invest in this because YouTube doesn't pay you anything. And who fucking cares if, if 100,000 people watch this sick clip from your tournament? You don't get anything out of it. Yeah. But I mean, it's, I guess it's good for the community. You're doing it's altruistic. I'll say that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't care enough about it to be honest. I mean, you, I YouTube has got a, a whole a whole number, a whole mess of other problems with all the kids' videos. They've been making yeah. a lot of press recently with 
all sorts of fucked up content and how they take it down and how they handle it and screen for it and that whole like we're just kind of sitting here and letting people do what they want with our platform is starting to blow up in Google's face a little bit or mm. YouTube's face I suppose I digress. You seem very disinterested. Slice. I'm thinking, because I like the Elsa Spider-Man videos, and I don't think that they're bad content. <laughs> I, I Is this those creepy conspiracy things? No. No, really I think it's weird? the kids' videos, right? I Isn't just a creepy like kid finding shit? out what happens if Elsa has a baby and Spider-Man's got delivered. I watch the videos. So I think they're interesting. Oh, that's your stuff, eh? I mean, yeah, I, it's not I like I jerk to it. I'm just saying. I think it's interesting. I don't All right, know. Thank you. All right. That's great. <laughs> I mean, not every... What's a, I was going to say, not everything in Dota is demonetized. It's just we tend to talk about poop and use a lot of curse words. So those things, you know. Yes, yes. It has no context. Like, if you do an analytical piece on the history of Nazis, mm -hmm. it'll probably be demonetized because you're using the words not, you know, you're saying yeah. a lot of things that are quote-unquote offensive, but it doesn't take context into account. So that's why oh. the demonetization machine is so brutal because it's... I ever tell you kids the story it about when I tried no to jokes. sell Midas Mode to a TV station and they sent us a packet of things we couldn't say? <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> glorious times. <laughs> I wish we could have shared that list. Oh, that my. Was, uh, that was something. <laughs> there were a couple things Let's on there. Let's just say Moondock's not going to be on TV for a while. Yeah, there were a few things on there that were pretty fucking funny. They were like, really? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't even remember what they were. I know Retarded was on there for sure. Alluding well, yeah. to homosexuality. When I read that, I was like, we're out. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Zayori can't be on any panel. It's, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Alluding to Alluding sexual. to sexuality. Ooh. Any sexuality. I'm, I'm oozing. Not no, good. But yeah. I mean, Twitch is headed that way too, you know, now. now. I mean, they're, they're getting careful too. Yeah, well, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Age, you, can't you, know? say, you can't say words like penile unit. Really? Without, yeah. What? Wow. Can't say well, why? You just said it. I didn't. I said like. You're that insane. Word. I said. Oh, oh I unit. see. You can't say. You can't say that now. You can't do anything. So, you're not supposed to do anything sexual. So you mean I need to cancel my plans for doing a Zayori unfiltered podcast? Yes. Oh no. Oh, no. This if, was going to be my 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 dream to the top. My yeah. quick ride. Sorry, buddy. You're not supposed <laughs> to talk about sex, drugs, fighting. But isn't isn't that a microaggression if you can't talk about your sexuality and like get it out there and a microaggression? That's a microaggression. Oh, it really dude. is 2018. <laughs> the fucking microaggression, <laughs> mom. That's a microaggression. <laughs> Look out, dude. You can't say guys, dude. That's a microaggression. <laughs> that's a microaggression. We're gonna trigger some. I'm gonna get another fucking email now. Some person's like microaggressions are not funny. <laughs> it's true. I gotta be careful, dude. I ever tell you a Ti? There was a a guy. You know the those fucking assholes at TI six that were behind the panel that were like build the wall, fuck the Mexicans. Oh or yeah, yeah, they got yeah, kicked yeah. out. I think right. Good, yeah. fuck those guys. I think so. Anyway, I'm like watching a game. I'm like sitting down eating a hamburger for the first time. I've sat in like nine hours, and this person comes up to me and she's like, "I can't believe you let those hate the Mexican guys on live TV." I was like, "Well, I didn't do it," and she's like, "You had a part in it." And then she <laughs> walked away, and I was like, "What the fuck did I do? I mean, a goddamn sandwich." What? <laughs> That's not fair. Microaggressions feel terrible. <laughs> I felt terrible eating my sandwich for the rest of the goddamn day. So you just needed to realize that you are part of the problem. You did this. You're. you're <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, I, I do the interview. <laughs> Andrew, someone, someone just noticed the duct tape that's on my chairs, oh. which is true. The armrests are falling apart. Where's my chair? Oh, it's still in the garage. I need to mail that out. Dude, come on! You're supposed to mail it. <laughs> like, Trent, cast a few more games and get your before chair. I had a baby. I was like, yeah. All right, it got a oh, Now that we got chair. this shit. It's, I have a baby. It's been a tough couple of weeks. All right, <laughs> I had a lot of pasta on my plate. You know, a lot of <laughs> one job, dude. A lot of Gorgonzola. One thing. Yeah. Oh, one thing. I get a laptop for joining Moonduck. Trent gets a chair. Trent gets a chair. We don't pay the people. We this <laughs> is it. You get one object for joining Moonduck. <laughs> you get to pick one object. One Horocrux. Or whatever. Mott chose my amp to play oh. his guitar because he brought a guitar but no amp. So I uh, that was his choice. Sounds like a Mott move. <laughs> yeah, I got that <laughs> in eighth grade. So it was a real value play for the company. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I thought Mott was going to join us, but then I found out Slacks was there live. So Mott's just upstairs well, sad so right now, I, I assume. I texted him when we realized Suns fan wasn't going to be able to make it. And then he texted me when we were about 20 minutes into the show and said, just saw this. I'm guessing you don't need me, question mark. And I was like, nah, Mott. <laughs> You're That's good. Don't worry. We'll we'll keep it on lock. But no, our PUBG event will be coming up in about uh, 25 minutes. So uh, got some more fill. What's next in Dota? Slowly getting to the end. Well, we'll have to stop to turn on the delay. Don't okay, forget. Okay. So we'll, we'll but um, 
Ha have we missed any other big hot hot topics? I feel like we we did noob from UA justice. Salute you. I'd pour out some of my 40 right now if I was <laughs> drinking malt liquor. Mm. Uh, I got a, a story to tell. You know, oh, I perfect. would love to hear a story. About drugs, alcohol, and sex for real. Dude, that's... Um, <laughs> You How know, many viewers? Goodness. <laughs> Not a lot? I think about a thousand, so All right. Would you like to hear the tale? Dude, that is uh -huh. uh, absolutely. Right. So I'm at an event which will rename unnamed. <laughs> Okay. And uh, okay. it's time to go to the after parties. Now, I don't know. You guys might not at home know about esports after parties. Um, that No one's ever done the correct esports after party. I think East Epicenter was the one, best one or something. All we want at esports after party, let me, let me paint the perfect picture. 16 PCs and people bringing us fucking hamburgers and booze. That would be Beautiful. the perfect fucking after party beer sandwiches computers. and give me dota 2 and a bunch of mini weenies and i will have the greatest fucking time of my life nobody has figured this out yet every after party in esports is you go to a club no one can hear anything <laughs> right you got the most that. fucking awkward people in the world you got e e me and another and fucking kyle sitting in a corner going <laughs> we don't want to talk L at you least you like can't talk anyway. at least like 15 percent of the players are just sitting there staring at their phones playing a mobile game i'm not even lying because right. they're just like not it's just it's who we are. We're not. We're not clubbers. We're not. We're not social butterflies. I'm That's why we play fucking video games. Exactly. But anyway, so every after party is this shit. Me and Suns fan actually have a fun joke. Every after party we go to, we stand on opposite sides of the room and go, "What?" <laughs> as loud as we can, <laughs> until people ask us to stop. And then we walk closer to each other until we're right up in our face and go, "What? <laughs> what did you say?" Anyway, so at an after party, uh, a recent one that I was at. It was in the middle of a city, uh, kind of the major city, and basically they just rented out a bar, um, and we all just went there to this bar, and, uh, you know, typical after-party thing. So I start to leave mm -hmm. after three minutes because, you know, I know what this is all about. Mm -hmm. I start walking away, and this guy walks up to me that kind of looks like you. He's like the same body build and everything. He's got a hoodie on, and he's like, da, 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 da. and he walks up to me, and he starts talking in a language that I will not say, and I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> and Excuse me? And then he goes, Oh, you American. You American. Yes, yes, yes. You want you want the cocaine? And I'm like, no. What? Hello. I'm okay. I, I don't do the cocaine. I don't do any drugs, but thank you for your offer. And the guy goes, yeah. So sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he takes out this tiny little thing of blow, and he's like, you want the cocaine? I'm like, no. Get that. <laughs> no, get that away from me. No, I'm good. So I start walking away. Then, from behind me, I feel this. And he comes and he puts his arm around me and he goes, feel, feel me. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> and I start getting nervous. And he grabs my hand and he, I think, tries to put it on his leg. And there's a big fucking block of, like, blow in there. I don't want none of that. Oh. So he, but he masks my hand and I try to move it away. And I actually move it so that I, like, kind of grab his dick a little bit. And it's a moment <laughs> where both of us are really, it's, it's not good. There's a drug dealer, a dangerous man. He moves his hand over, and I just, like, kind of grab his dick accident. It's a bad situation, but I'm like, I'm dead, because he gives a face like, this dude just grabbed my dick. And I'm like, this guy's a drug dealer. I'm going to fucking die. So we look at each other for a little bit, and I'm like, I got to go. And he goes, no blow? And I go, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I start walking away. It's the scariest thing, but it also might have saved my life. Because it was a dark alleyway. This guy's a drug dealer. He knows I'm an American. He knows I got a wallet. Yet me touching his dick made it so awkward, we both kind of went our separate ways. Wow. So That's um, beautiful. If you're thinking about if you're in a really stressful situation, just go and grab the guy's dick. Wow. That's a really, <laughs> uh, that's a. You know, if you get lost in the woods, they say hug a tree. So you did like the, the alleyway <laughs> version. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> is that an old Canadian proverb or what? What, is what you don't know? Hug a tree? Hug a tree? Dumb? No. No. What do you got? Uh, I'm it sure some people know what I'm talking about here. Come on. Some people were in scouts. You're supposed to. You stay put. You don't wander. If you ever get lost in the woods, fucking hug a tree. I don't Chill think that's great out. advice at all. Sit down. <laughs> you don't want to actually hold it. I think you but. walk towards the lights. <laughs> you 
fucking no, hug a you tree. stop. You stop. The plane has gone down. There's only one survivor. Yeah. We found him straddling this tree for the, days. The odds are you're going to survive. It's more likely you'll survive doing that than if you try and find your way. Okay, home. well, that's different than hug a tree. That means stay, well, that's, stay that's in your you last known location and <laughs> not fucking hug a tree, you dumbass. What are you talking about? That's how it is. <laughs> Listen, when you're lost in the woods, you're gonna be like, what did he say? What did he say? It was something stupid. Oh, hug a tree. See, this is oh. how you remember. I'm pretty sure you if I'm lost in the woods, and then names. the group is like, what do we do? What do we do? And I'm like, I can't think of anything except for hug a tree. We're all going to die. That's going to be the next <laughs> PUBG like, meme, dude. You just have to leak that to one of the top streamers. Just fucking hug a tree, hug guys. A tree. We're out, dude. You start getting shot at. Just hug a tree. Just hug a tree, dude. You, you didn't hug the tree. Yeah. Can I talk a little bit about my PUBG experience? Yes. Very quickly. We need to probably mm -hmm. wind down here in a couple of minutes so we can right. get the delay going. So PUBG event, one of the weirdest things that ever happened to me before. I'm walking in, pass all the pro players, meet them for the first time. A pro, pro player walks up to me, his whole team, and he goes, hey, can we do an interview? I thought I was going to have a fucking heart attack. What? <laughs> a pro player walks up to me and goes, Hey, can we do an interview? Is there any kind of content you're feeling? What? The feeling I felt. When I go to events and I'm like, hey, guys, you just won the tournament. What do you have to say? Uh. These fucking kids in PUBG are like, can you do a funny video with me? <laughs> yes. Come to me, little child. I mean, Jesus, what a different world out there in other esports. Well, if I'm not mistaken... And not meaning to flame in any sort of total mean way. Yeah. A lot of these guys are failed pros from other games, right? Mm. They are wow, that's... Arma games, uh, Counter-Strike games, games that never took off. They've been trying to go pro in esports for like five or six years, and they jump from game to game to game I'm to game. I'm glad you're not on our PUBG and... page. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They're all trying to like find their way in like this. So this is the new game, right? You know, DayZ, H1Z1, all that shit. So... Now they're in a game that has some money, and they're finally excited. Like these, these guys are much more like your average gamer, I would say, than your Dota gamer, right? Yeah. Like they're more varied, they're more well balanced human beings than obsessively playing one thing until they sleep and then get up and do it again. See, okay. You know? These do that not reflect sense? the thoughts of the studio. <laughs> clear that... What was that? Was that? I mean, no, that sounds fair no, to me. It's fine. That it sounds quite true. I it, do know it what It might have just been too true. You know, sometimes a little honesty is too harsh, man. You just want to <laughs> dial it down. You know, are, are we going to make it, Daddy? Sometimes you just go, you know what, sport? I think we're going to make <laughs> we're gonna it. Make I think it we're going to make it, son. We're going to patch up that <laughs> just, hole on the life raft, and tree, we're making buddy. it out of here, son. <laughs> just hold on that tree. We're going to be fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I, I see your point, though. I mean, uh, it's, it's just interesting to see... Okay, this is going to sound like a really egotistical statement, but it's interesting to see the dynamic between the world's best esport and an esport that's trying to get good. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to see the people be like, fuck off, I don't want to do any content. What, what stupid shit do you have today to be like, hey, I want to grow my brand. I want to make it bigger. I want to get some fans. It's just super, it was super interesting to see how the other side lives. That is cool. Yeah. That is cool. Be, imagine meeting a league player, you know, just like fucking dead inside with nothing going on mm. in their lives, and then you meet, you know, you get to see the, the Dota master race of these guys that yeah. don't, they don't need to do content. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what seeds you planted in the PUBG community. So oh, it, we'll, it doesn't, we'll see what doesn't really matter. I don't know if you've been watching Fortnite streams, but it... <laughs> Jeez, I'm so I glad you're on our <laughs> panel later. My God! All right, just kidding. Uh, just let's kidding. wrap this thing up. We got to get this uh, this delay server set up so we can do some PUBG. Um, this is the end of this great. I like these three way what the ducks, man. It's kinky. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to turn the Zyori podcast into a <laughs> a little swingers batch for me. All right, I'm out. You you guys. Yeah, you'd probably get your name in the title. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's a great point. Oh, when will it be? Oh, the Zayori Trent podcast. Yeah, that rolls I mean, off the tongue. We need we need a good name. We this need a don't fucking want, I don't asshole want, I don't still calls it, it the Zayori <laughs> podcast, and Trent has Hi. been on it how many times? Trent, he's he's only been on like fifteen percent of the episodes. Twenty percent. True, it is a long running show. I've been doing that show for five years, man. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe you're just not ready yet. Maybe at the 50. Sorry, I just want to slam Remember, it. Remember, you All can right. find the okay. Zyoi podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys and girls, so we'll see you yeah. next time. We're going to do some PUBG now, and uh, What the Duck will happen again in the future, and Suns fan <laughs> may or may not be here. He's very busy. He's a busy He's boy. an important man. He's got stuff to do. Um, it's not that he doesn't care about you, community. Well, I mean, he's mm-hmm. doing he's something just, very important right now. He has now. pets, so, he, you know. He has a cat. You know, he has to eat. Oh, I think he has more than one. Oh, my God. So well, no wonder. How does he get anything done? Trust me. Suns fan would definitely not ditch the show. He loves the community, too. He wouldn't do that to the community. Please tweet at him and ask him why he ditched today. All right. Because I'm sure he has an answer. Thank you.